In running Yum! Brands, you have 1.4 million employees and three of the most prominent brands in the world. You talk a lot about corporate culture. Where did you learn your insights on corporate culture? Well, I've always been real conscious about building a great team, but everybody needs a, uh, somebody to help them and, and show them things that they might not otherwise know. And, and I needed somebody to help me figure out how to really drive my ideas deep in the organization. And just out of the blue one day, I get this letter from this guy named Larry Sin, who I later learned is a guru on corporate culture. And he asked to come see me, and I met with Larry, and I learned from Larry a lot of really great tools and exercises that, allowed, that would allow me to drive some concepts that I really believed in very deeply, deep into our organization. So Larry, uh, I started out with a uh, group with my senior leadership team. We went to Blackberry, Tennessee, had spent a couple of days to get together. Larry went through his exercise, and we all loved it. We said, gosh, this is great. How do we take it to the rest of the organization? And that was the start of a global cascade of our culture, which is now in 117 countries around the world. And Larry had a lot of, a lot of great exercises that I loved. And one thing he said is you got to be aware of what you project as a leader. And he called that casting the shadow of leader, leadership. He said every leader casts a shadow. So be aware of the fact that people will do what you do. So first of all, when you wake up every day, understand that how you act is going to drive the kind of culture that you have, and, and you're responsible for it. And then he had exercises like the mood elevator, that, and I love this one. He said, make sure that you understand and you're aware of your moods. If you come in to work and you're angry, you're not going to make good decisions. So you've got to work your way up the mood elevator. And at the middle, I remember he said, you at least got to get to curious and interesting. And that's you as a CEO yeah, you, or everyone? Me as a CEO or you as a leader, it doesn't matter. All of us, when we go to work, you know, you ought to at least get to that curious and interested stage. And then you really make your very best decisions when you're at the top of the mood elevator, which is one where you have gratitude. 